Hi, this video is brought to you by the Tufts Evidence Based Practice Center at Tufts Medical Center. The purpose of this video is to help you create templates in Microsoft Word to facilitate combining sections of reports and creating tables of contents. Now, you'll find that for many reports that you're creating, you're constantly going back and using uh, the same styles of fonts and formatting. If you make a Microsoft Word template ahead of time, it'll make this process a whole lot easier and I'll show you what I mean. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the Microsoft Word template that you're using is one that you like. To do so, reveal it by clicking Format, Styles and Formatting. Note here on the right hand side that we have a number of styles and formatting that we've already made ahead of time and I'll show you how to do this as well. Simply create some dummy text and highlight it and suppose for a lot of your reports you use size say 14 font bold and this is a style and format that you're going to want to come back to regularly uh, alter make that style and go to the right hand side and give it a name by clicking it clicking modify and style uh, bold now this style is available to you for this document only if you want to have it available to you each time you open up Microsoft Word, you'll have to save this template. To do that, select everything in your document now, clear it out, press clear it formatting, and save this as a template. Go to File, Save As, Save As Type, click Template, and save it locally. Now you're going to want to overwrite the template that you already have by clicking in the bottom right hand corner here, show available formatting, custom, styles, organizer. Select everything on your left hand side, oh excuse me, press close file on the left hand side, press open file on the left hand side, and open up that template we just created. Now select everything on the left hand side and copy it over to the right hand side. Press yes to all. Close this up. Now these styles and formatting will be available to you each time you open up Microsoft Word. And to show you why this is useful, suppose you are writing a report and you've already done your executive summary and conclusion say and the rest of your team has worked on different sections of the report. However, the rest of the team has used um, different styles and formatting throughout say in the introduction. Now when you want to combine the report uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make it uh, look neat and clean and match throughout the whole report. So what we'll do is combine each section, I'll show you how to do that, simply highlight everything in the introduction in this example, copy it, go back to your report and put it where you want to put it, say right after the executive summary. click this little icon that shows up after pasting and say keep text only and this will become a little bit more clear as we move forward why I'm doing these things uh, after the introduction we'll go to the methods note that this section is done italic with some different uh, formatting copy that as well Go back to the report say after the background paste it in Again, keep text only. And the results. Again, a different style, but we'll take care of that. Copy. Paste it in. Keep text only. OK. Now we have a report with no styles or formatting throughout. Or I should say with generic and styles and formatting throughout. So reveal your styles and formatting. And what we're going to do is we're going to alter the styles and formatting of each of these sections uh, so that they're universal throughout the document using our template that we created and uh, or the local template that I have actually and then this will help us create the table of contents uh, much more easily and I'll show you what I mean. So the executive summary is going to get a bold heading, a large heading, say the introduction as well. Note that the text of the body is still a normal style and formatting. 
background, large heading, say methods as well. Now the subheadings will get a slightly uh, smaller style and formatting. Heading 2 should work. Again, these are ones we've created ahead of time, which you can do using instructions in the first half of this video. Results will get a large heading. Some of the answers to our results under key questions will get smaller headings. Say this one gets an even smaller heading. Conclusions, a large heading. Uh, our tables will get uh, table title styles and formatting. Uh, just one figure will get a figure title style and formatting. And say references get a large format. Okay, now we're ready to create our table of contents, and Word is going to go through. Microsoft Word is going to go through and read uh, each style and formatting, and create a, uh, a table of contents based on those. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's make some room for a table of contents. Uh, say normal. Uh, go to Insert, Reference, Index, and Tables. Click the Table of Contents tab. I'll give you a little preview of what's available. For the purpose of this example, I think headings 1, 2, and 3 should suffice, but if you want to alter them, click Options and modify them. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, so again, headings 1, 2, and 3 should do it. I like to get rid of the hyperlink so I get my page numbers right on screen in the web preview, and I press OK. And an automatically generated table of contents is the result. Now I'll do, say, a table of figures and a table of tables. Going back, insert, reference, index and tables. I'm going to click options and modify temporarily the one I have. Don't worry about this tables of figures tab. Just modify your table of contents tab. So get rid of the headings that we were using just previously. And add in, say, your table of where is it? Figure titles. There it is. Press OK. Don't replace the one we just created. And now we have a table of contents for our figure or figures. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing for a table of tables. Goes back to the default. So click Options. Get rid of headings 1, 2, and 3, or whatever you may have chosen. Go down to, let's see, table title, and add a 1 there. Press OK. Nope. And now we have a table of tables. And again, you can give these uh, titles as well. Lastly, if you find something is uh, you'd like to alter one or two things within your table of contents without adjusting uh, your report, Simply highlight that uh, table of contents and press Control Shift F9. Now you'll be able to modify these on their own. And that should do it. Thanks for watching.